What's up fam? We are back with another video, second video in this series for the How It All Works StreamYard Academy. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at setting up a new broadcast. Let's get into it. So we're back on StreamYard, back on the broadcast page, and we're gonna set up a new broadcast. So that big blue button, creative broadcast, we're gonna click that. And of course, all the destinations that we were setting up yesterday, all the stuff that we were doing, they're all here. So I'm gonna set up a broadcast for composition. There's my Facebook page. Uh, let's actually do preach that since we have both of those here. There's my Facebook page, there's the YouTube page, and there they both are. And so here I'm just gonna say, let's let's title the stream and you you need to know that this what you put in the title is going to show on both facebook and on youtube once you click uh save for those destinations so you want to make sure that whatever you type in here that you check your check and recheck your spelling you want to make sure that it's descriptive because this is what's going to draw people in um in on youtube it's going to be used for your search and search engine optimization you want to make sure that you have your links and all that stuff in your description whatever you want people to know and see this is where, where you want to put it because you will be scheduling it from here to those destinations and so here i'm going to say preach that I just sped, speed typed a couple of things in here. So we have our title in, we have a couple of hashtags in the description. We have the title again. I always put the title in the description because that helps with that, with analytics. It helps with all the algorithms that are out there. And then we also have a little bit of a blurb, right? You want to tell people what this is about. What are, what are we doing here? What exactly is this, this live stream that has been scheduled all about? Then you want to go ahead and put at least a website somewhere they can get a little bit more information because this, as I mentioned, is going to be put on YouTube, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, Twitter, wherever you are streaming to, this will be input into those destinations. So now that that's done, we want to click the schedule for later button. I'm going to go through this one more time where we do a record only broadcast. But for this one, we're going to schedule it for later. I'm going to put this for next week. Let's see, put it for the eighth. And you see what happens here. It says Facebook broadcast must be scheduled within seven days. So we put it too far into the future. And I wanted you to be able to see that. So I'm gonna put it for the, the sixth. Now, you notice something else that's here. This is in blue, not red, uh, which means it's a, 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 it's a note. It's not necessarily something's wrong. Facebook doesn't allow starting more than 10 minutes late. Ah, so that means I need to be on my game. So we're gonna schedule this for, we're gonna schedule this for the sixth at 6 p.m. And then everything seems to be ready to go. What is this thumbnail thing? If we hover our mouse over it, you'll say, this will be used as the preview image before you go live. Recommended size is 1280 by 720. So you can also use 1920 by 1080 as well. Um, and But this is basically your flyer size, your standard flyer size. And so you wanna make sure, especially if you're scheduling ahead of time, that you put an image in here. So click on upload thumbnail. I'm gonna go to my downloads and find, I think this is a good one. Here's a good one, I'm gonna use this. And you can see here, you can even crop, you can pull that in or out, but since it is the right size, I'm not gonna do anything to it, I'm just gonna say apply. And you can see that 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 thumbnail is now down there. This, this will be the thumbnail if you were doing this on YouTube, um, it will be the thumbnail if you're doing it on Facebook as well. And this is what people will see, and hopefully it's something that's eye-catching. So you wanna make sure you design that, haha. Uh -huh. You wanna make sure you design that in a way that's gonna be helpful for you. And so now we have our title, our description, we have it scheduled for later. Hover my mouse over that says Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, uh, allow scheduling. Nothing will be scheduled on other platforms. So on the other platforms, it will just go live, <laughs> which is fine. But on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, you have the ability to schedule for later. And then you can customize each stream on the next step. So let's do that. And you see that now it's showing me Facebook and YouTube and if I click into them, you can edit. So if there's something specific you want on YouTube or, or Facebook that you don't want on the other, this would be the place to do that. And you can scroll down here a little bit and you can edit the other one. You can see that it minimizes this other one. And then we can say, create broadcast. And it's gonna spin for a second or two. And once it has created it on both of those platforms, YouTube, Facebook, you'll see that it is now scheduled and you can see that it's here on both Facebook and YouTube. If I go to the edit button here, under next to this broadcast that I've just scheduled, 
you can actually click on view on Facebook. So we can click that and click continue. And you can see that that post is actually scheduled here on Facebook board game, game speaking, preach that, preach that. It has all the different things that we talked about and you can kind of see what that looks like on Facebook. So that's pretty cool. We minimize this message from Elicio. Uh, but then we also can go back and say, all right, that's what it looks like on Facebook. What does it look like on YouTube? Click view. This is just a message in case you're actually live that you make sure you're muting it. So I'm clicking continue to YouTube. And here it is. This is what it looks like on YouTube. And so clearly something happened with my thumbnail because this is not the right size, but you can get a chance to see what this looks like and go back through and fix it. One thing I want to say here is if you want to make any edits or changes to either of these posts, you want to make sure you make that change in StreamYard, not on the individual platform because it may end up disconnecting StreamYard from the scheduled broadcast. So I'm going to close both of these out and get back to our StreamYard screen here because the last thing that we want to do before we close this video out is do a record only broadcast. So we're going to create a broadcast and you can see all these destinations are here and then we can click skip and record only. Now I'm just going to say Reach that recording. And so once I do that, I'm going to click create broadcast. It's going to actually take me into the broadcast. So it's saying entering broadcast studio. I'm going to close these both out and I'm actually going to go back to the screen screen, the main screen, because we're not ready to dive into those yet. We wanted to show you that right here, preach that recording record only. One of the things I use with this is that I will, if I, can't schedule a stream if I have a guest already scheduled for my show uh, and they're you know scheduled out maybe a month in advance but I can't schedule the stream yet on Facebook I will create all the stuff in here and then send the guest an invite with the link so I can actually send say invite a guest here grab this link send it to the send it to the guest who is supposed to come on my show in a calendar invitation then that link will stay the same. And then seven days before the show, I can actually come in here, click edit, and then I can select destinations and do all the different things that we talked about uh, from before. So we can put all the, the title, the description, all those things, the flyer, everything in there just the way we did it before. There you have it. We have scheduled a record only. We have scheduled a broadcast, but we've also looked at how we can edit a record only to use it as a broadcast down the line. And I sprinkled in a little bit of hacks there, here, there throughout the video. Hoping this was useful to you. Hoping that you're tracking with us. Hoping that you're going to stick with us for the long haul. We got several installments of this series coming. Today we did set up a new broadcast in this video. The video prior to this one, we did it setting up destinations and tomorrow we're going to schedule a broadcast. We're going to schedule a broadcast. Ah, uh, man, this has been exciting. Uh, but listen, I'm hoping that you're going to stay around because this series is going to walk you through all the different aspects of StreamYard. This is our How It All Works StreamYard Academy, and we're excited to have you along for the ride. It's your boy, Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping it's somewhere in the video today. We got you a little closer to figuring out how it all works. I'll see you in the next video.